tell you. Where you been? I've been waiting all night. I, uh... Look, 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 I found that in Britain's things from the hospital. There was a white man in his room that first night that we were there, and I found this. I found him in Britain's bed. Why, why would he have one of his seagulls? So we gotta go to the police. We gotta let them know about this man because maybe he might know something. He might know who did this to Britain, so we gotta go. Latrice, how many days has it been since the repass? What have you been doing? Say I saw a man in Britain's room. They had people going in and out around the clock. It could have been anybody from the hospital. Why would they leave this in his bed? Did you actually see him put it there? Did you? No, but how else would it get there? Wow, man, that voice right there is from a clip of a, a series called Seven Seconds that's available on Netflix right now. Uh, that actress right there is somebody we all consider family. Yes. As we watch her come up in the game from the days of Boys in the Hood to Poetic Justice to Jerry Maguire and on and on and on and on uh, to American Crime. She won two Emmys already. She's been nominated for I don't even know how many. I lost count, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she has so many accolades to her name right now. She's already got a pending nom uh, Emmy nomination coming up for the next yeah. uh, 70th uh, Primetime Emmy Award. So uh, it's great to have you back in the studio with us. Regina King. Regina King. Yay! 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 Damn, man, it's just stacking up for you, Gina. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> how you been? I'm in good. Yeah. I'm in good. Life is good. Life what is, is good. You, you got this aura yep. going on about you right it's, now. It's the pink. Is it the, the pink? It's the fuchsia. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's the fuchsia, yes. fuchsia, but life is good. Are you in L you in Cali still, right? Or I'm in California. California. Yeah. Are you you know where near the fires and stuff? Uh, no, thankfully. No, I'm not. Okay. But um, I mean, it's like the biggest fire that Mendocino fire, I think, yep, is yep. the mm -hmm. biggest fire ever. ever. Yeah. Like, wow, really? In California. And history. I don't even think they I think it might be at sixty percent contained now. Uh huh. It's scary. It's scary. Yeah. Uh, Didn't somebody get convicted for it? Like starting it? They found. I think you're right. Yeah, they, yeah. they, yeah, they found. I don't know if he's convicted. Oh, yeah. But, okay, yeah, yeah, but I know they, they found somebody because uh, he kept popping up at the fires. I think uh -huh. that's how they found him. He was <laughs> oh, kept the common up. denominator. Yeah, he kept showing up. Like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. After doing like series like American Crime, is have you found that that's usually what happens? That the uh, <laughs> culprit returns <laughs> to the Senate. <laughs> 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 right. From what happens? my Southland days. Is that from the Southland yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, did, did, did you learn a lot about law and all that? Don't plan this roles. Um. Sure. You don't take it with you. Huh? Yeah, no. No, I leave it on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're, you're so accomplished um, right now. I mean, when I think back at your work and all that you've done, does work come easy for you now? Or uh, do roles come easy? Like, they're, they're handing them to you, or you still got to go out and grind? Um, no, I'm not auditioning anymore, okay. but... Um, okay, wait, hold, was, on. Yeah. hold on. Hold on, hold yeah. on. Yeah. That's a certain yeah. level. That's a status. Did you make that decision? Uh, well, yeah. you know, uh, hopefully that that's where the career goes eventually. You know, mm -hmm. that's the, that's the idea. But I would say the grind now more is as a producer mm -hmm. and uh, finding uh, project um, subject matter that I'm interested in as a producer, finding the finances mm -hmm. to make something happen. Um, that's where uh, the the hustle of trying to of procur procuring, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you usually use that word with something else, but mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. that's where I would say a lot of my day-to-day -day looking for something and mm -hmm. um, trying to uh, get someone else interested in yeah. something uh, is happening. We just um, sold our second project yesterday. Congratulations. So hey, just got money yeah. yesterday, Heather, yeah. you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Do, do, do you, do you, um, um, like you got Issa Rae out there now. Oh my God! Ava DuVernay, all these folks out there. Do you guys ever come together? And uh, do you know them well? Or? Yes, okay. yes, yes. I actually was emailing with Issa earlier today. Mm -hmm. um, Issa is just for me the blueprint for just young um, creators. Mm -hmm. You know, she's really done an um, an amazing job at utilizing the other outlets that are. Um, available to us now like when I was coming up there was no internet yeah. you know mm -hmm. and she took her webisodes and turned it into this phenomenon that we love and we're having insecure parties yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I think she's a blueprint 
She's the right blueprint. Now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Regina King hanging out with us. Seven seconds. We'll talk about that in a moment. You know what, Regina? We're also in the era of like reboots. Mm. And you see everybody doing all of these things <laughs> over. But I, I have a favorite. I'm not going to lie. I just want with everything that's going on with technology, I want Enemy of the State done over. Oh, Enemy of the State. I want a, 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 this version, this new wave of what we're dealing with now with Russia and yeah. everything. Like, I just thought... Y'all was so fly in it, like seriously, yeah. and it opened our minds up to everything. Would you consider if it was offered? It's interesting. I would consider directing it and being a producer. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, 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 it's when we did Enemy of the State, the technology that was in that film was seven years old when we shot that film. Whoa. So there are so many things now that we don't even know that's about to wow. come down the pike, you know? Yeah. So, um, wow. Yeah, producer, director, director. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can Dope. I can look at it that way. But I, I'm see I'm I, I'm I'm tired of the reboots, man. Yeah. It's a lot. I'm it's kind of like many. come on. Yeah. Yeah. Man. But that movie was so fly. Thank you. It was fly. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, they about to redo Charmed. Yep. Alyssa Milano told me that. And what did you say to her when she told you that? Is she involved? If she's not involved, I don't. I, I don't want to have anything yeah. to do with it. Yeah. Well, she yeah. probably is like has some. Mm, they, didn't, mm -hmm. they didn't call her. They didn't call her. Wow. Something? They didn't call her. Sabrina the teenage witch too. They right. redoing that too. Doing that too. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, <laughs> I, I will say this though. I'm not mad when they do reboots and it's the black version. Did you like that? <laughs> <laughs> First Wives Club. <laughs> hey, Regina, I have a question. You mentioned if they were to reboot Enemy of the State, you want to be a director and producer. And I know directing has been really important for you. I've heard you mention a couple of times. I feel like that is a new trend now where actors are moving toward producing and directing. It's saying that is the get now or the go to. What is it that about producing and directing that actors now are craving to jump to the other side of the camera? You know, I don't think that it's a, a new trend. I think it's something that's always happened. I think because of where we are again with the internet and social media, now the audience is more aware of it happening. But I'll say as far as people that look like me, um, we are in positions now um, where we're starting, we, where we, we're recognizing that we can um, exercise our power and, and recognizing that we actually do have power and not believing the hype that we don't sell overseas and um, making demands like, well, I see that this was successful and I'm a part of it. So if we want to do this next thing, then, and you want me to be a part of it, mm -hmm. then I'm going to have to produce. I'm going to, so I just think we're, we're claiming what's rightfully ours mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And the good news is that we have um, a bigger platform so that the youth can see that mm -hmm. this is what you do, that you mm -hmm. don't, you don't strive to just be the entertainer. You strive, you, you work hard to be all of it, yeah. you know, all encompassing. I mean, People like Will Smith, thank God for his Instagram. Isn't like the best thing <laughs> ever. 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 Oh my, you live yeah. to look at his Instagram. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. um, you know, he's he's been an example of 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 how to navigate those waters um in an elegant way and still be very black about it, mm -hmm. you know, without um it being just about being black, mm -hmm. but about um, I, I don't have to deny who I am mm -hmm. to be bigger than what um, just an actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great. Regina King is here. Speaking of the youth, so now I'm interested. Say someone um, who's about to graduate college is interested in Hollywood. They have the same level of interest in directing, producing, and acting. Going back, do would you say it's easier for them to focus on producing and directing first? Or do you think if you focus on acting, once you become successful, you can leverage that to getting opportunity as a producer and director? Um, I, I think you should focus on w what your true interests, where they your interests lie. If a producer is what you want to be, then I think that you should be attacking that 100%. I don't mm -hmm. think that, it's funny because I was just asked this the other day when I was in Atlanta, this uh, young woman, um, she has a journalism degree and she said that she was, her plan was to you know, be like a newscaster or something like that and then transition into acting. I was like, well, why Why would you do that? Why mm. wouldn't you just 
you know, go after being an actor. Because once you put yourself in this box as a newscaster, then that's what they're going to look at you as. And you're going to be guest starring on a show as the newscaster, not mm -hmm. as an actor or be right. regarded for uh, what you really want. So I would say if a person wants to act, then they should act. If they want to produce, they should produce. If they want to do both, they should do both. Okay. You know, I, I just... Um, just the the younger people have so many so much more than what we had yeah. mm -hmm. you know you can learn how to do something on like youtube nowadays mm -hmm. facts you know like almost every time i'm like how do you i'm gonna look it up on youtube, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know so yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't box myself in or or, or think that i have to do something a certain way. Create your own style of doing something. Facts. Got it. That's what's Regina Facts. King dropping gems, yo. Gems on them. She come a long way from 227. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a reboot of 22. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. up. Shut yo. up. Yo, that's so dope. dope. No, right. I'm here for that. Okay. I'm here for that. You EP it. What would yeah. Brenda be doing yeah. right now? Yeah. Running <laughs> shit. <laughs> Brenda's just running, running shit. Running a studio. All right. There you go. Okay. She all would right. not be married to Calvin. Okay. Nah, not at all. <laughs> yeah. right. Nah, that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> All right, we're going to open up these phone lines. You wish to speak with Regina King, 888-742-3345. This is Jay Walk, 16-year-old boy out of Oakland, California, featuring Mr. F.A.B. and Oki Jr. We riding. Sway in the morning, Shade 4-5. Regina King is here. Yep, and with yep. She got a, uh, a a new series, too, uh, called, well, a series called Seven Seconds uh, that's on Netflix right now. DB and I got a chance to uh, watch a lot of it. And and I'm going to let DB dive. DB is our movie junkie. Okay. Regina, he's going to I think you. this is the first time I've met you. Have you been here when I've been here before? I have. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Damn. So I like that you went out on a limb right there because if, 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 yeah. if it was right, it would have been a home run. Like, yeah. Damn. Did you talk the last damn. time she was here? Did she, maybe not. Maybe that's probably. We oh, didn't have much okay. of an interaction. Action, so. But now we're here. We are here. Cool. Eye contact. I watch your series. Yes. I, and I have some great questions for you. And you might oh. change your mind about whether you liked it or not after I just <laughs> yeah. did the whammy. Just no, said no, no, it didn't no. make no impression on oh you. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> so don't watch this <laughs> yeah. stuff. So, uh,. The majority of the series is very emotional, Ugh. and you spend almost every episode and almost every scene crying yes. because of the grief that you have to go through with this situation that happens to your son in uh, in the series. So when you, I mean, the director might give you some, you know, uh, notes or something like, okay, I want you to play this scene this way. Like when you first see your son in the hospital, they don't even show him. They just show your reaction and the guy who plays his father. So if something he says or suggests the, the director doesn't work for you to get that emotion out of you, where do you go? Um, I, I'm, one, I'm one of those people that really feel like as an actor, if the tears aren't there, don't try to force them mm. you know i'm not um with the i know like there's and, I, and i'm saying that i never have now i know I'm, we, i might be on this show years down the line and it may have changed but i've never used they have these like eucalyptus things that they blow in people's eyes to make them cry um i'm personally am scared of them because the idea of blowing eucalyptus in my eye is like no. what, that can't be right yeah um but i feel like if um i just have to be honest in the moment during the performance and not always in life do we cry at moments that you're supposed Supposed to cry about it just doesn't work that way so, um, I've um, I want to say it was still magnolias or places in the heart I can't remember there's a scene that um, with Sally Field who's one of my favorite characters I think it's still magnolias during the funeral scene that there's a good part of that scene where she it's no tears she's uh -huh. kind of hysterical and we you are feeling the emotion and you are there with her but she's not crying um, so that's just my example of emotion doesn't mean tears. Mm -hmm. Emotion, um, means just honesty. So, mm -hmm. uh, the, yeah, sure. Sometimes I might've been just dried up and, and nothing there. And sometimes, um, you all have a director who might 
or, or or the writer might feel like you should be really big, and as an actor, you don't necessarily agree with that, and um, you have that conversation. Um, I think it's episode two in seven seconds. Um, Vina Sood is the creator of the show, and Jonathan Demi it was his he last. Passed away, yeah. It passed away, but that was his last uh, piece. We all agreed together that you know this doesn't need to be this huge, you know, the the woman falling out at the funeral moment, right. you know, mm-hmm. and um, th- th- that was a choice that we made. So usually, uh, in, in my experience, I have been lucky enough to work with true collaborators, and that's what makes what I do so fun and the reason why I've been doing it for a few decades, uh, because I love the collaboration. Uh, the the plot for the for those who don't know, uh, it starts with a, a white police officer who accidentally hits and, and critically injures a, a young black teenager, right? And then a cover up ensues, and and it's dealing with a lot of social issues we're seeing today. And you have a son, yes. right? So, uh, are you able to uh, draw parallels from when you playing a mother of a kid like this? Are you imagining your son at all, or? Um, tried not to imagine him. <laughs> okay, okay, um, I get that. Okay. Yeah, um, but, yeah. but, but, I mean, I, yeah. I do have a son. Yeah. And, and this is the narrative, the narrative that is, that has existed in our country mm-hmm. for as long as we can remember. So n- now it's something that because of s- cell phone cameras and everything, it's a narrative that everyone knows about opposed to something that just our community knows about yeah. um, or, or cares about. Um, so it's impossible not to, uh, think about Ian, you know, Mm -hmm. he told me, and I really didn't even recognize that I was doing it. I would just call him with just like random stuff Mm -hmm. just to hear his voice. Like, did you feed the dog? And he's like, you are 3000 miles away (laughs) and you asking about the dog, you know, but, um, I, I needed to, to hear his voice and, and, and just, feel that connection because I'm um, playing a role of a mother struggling with that connection being severed Mm -hmm. immediately and what that feels like. I don't ever want to have that experience, Mm -hmm. you know, Um, but it was my job as a, as an artist to honor the pain that all of these parents that are experiencing this, experiencing this feel. Mm -hmm. And um, that, that's, was my primary focus, but yeah, Sway, it was a dark place to be yeah. for six months. Mm. It, it was tough. I mean, thank God I had Russell Hornsby there yeah. uh, to lean on. Who, who plays your husband. Who plays my, my husband, husband, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, this is definitely one you want to sit down, Netflix, and chill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seven seconds. I, I suggest on the weekend, though. Go ahead, Tracy. <laughs> Regina, I'm wondering, throughout all the years of Hollywood, there's been conversations about whitewashing, you know, mm. with Caucasian actors and actresses taking on roles written for minorities. Yesterday, we were having a conversation about a new Disney film, um, Jungle Cruise. And that what's something that's big with them is they are having their first openly gay character, mm. but it's played by Jack Whitehall, who's a heterosexual man, and a lot of people from the LGBTQ community were upset about it and felt like there's so many gay actors. How yeah, we're, and it uh, kind of makes sense on both sides, n- but mm, no, no, doesn't make sense on both sides. It it makes they, the the LGBTQ plus mm-hmm. community should be upset about that, and we should as 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 because we can relate to so many things mm-hmm. uh, with uh, that community. We we should. Um, applaud them for saying something about it, you know, and support them in their um, um, expression of being disappointed in the fact that there would not be a person that's gay playing that role. I mean, there yeah. and there not only are there um, so many um, people that are out there that could play the role that are gay, mm-hmm. but that are openly gay and, mm-hmm. and, um, um, love who they are, and and it's an opportunity to just shine. And, right. and 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 how many of us, when I say of us, disenfranchised people who don't get the opportunity because of the color of our skin mm-hmm. or our sexuality, here's an opportunity where you can actually be yourself and 
it kind of feels like it's taken away. I mm. understand, because that's yeah. such a big moment. Yeah, yeah. Well, Regina King. Like, can you imagine crazy rich Asians with... No, Non-Asians. With playing, non-Asians. Playing, playing Asians, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. Or Roots, you know. And, uh, no, I'm joking with you. All right, we got Kima <laughs> well, on the line. Well, true, from, yeah. from Charlotte. Kima, good morning. How Kima! you doing? <laughs> good morning, guys. How are you? Hey. Doing well. Good. Well, look, I, first of all, I just want to give a major compliment to Miss King. First of all, I've been a fan of yours since 227 because everybody wanted Brenda's hair because yeah. it was fly and off the chain and bouncy all the time. And I remember when Tupac came out with Brenda had a baby. Everybody thought Brenda had actually had a baby. Yeah. Was stressed out until we found out it was just a song. But anyway, and I just want to say that there has not been a role that you have played that I have not absolutely loved from the boondocks to this Christmas. Oh. And when seven seconds came out, I'm going to tell you the only reason why I watched it because it popped up on Netflix and your face was there. Oh, and I wow. literally inhaled it because I was like, oh, my goodness, this is Regina. Let me watch this. And so I literally inhaled that series because you are Hollywood royalty. Oh. You know, your first name in Latin means queen. Yeah. Regina means king. Queen. So you are royalty. You are a queen. Latin king. Wow. Thanks Thank for that you. Call. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, Regina, before you leave, we got a quick game. I know you have to go. Um, but the game is called Keep It Real. Keep It Real. Here on this show, we like when our guests are honest and upfront. So we came up with a few questions, and all we ask is that you keep it real. Right now, on Sway in the morning. Regina King. Why am I sweating? Uh, No, no, this is fun. I dug up some of my favorite movies that you starred in, and I wanted to get some real answers to some real questions. Eye contact. Yes, right. Yes. All right, so. Don't remember you now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. (laughs) All right, Boys in the Hood. With the exception of Lawrence Fishburne, a lot of the cast, including yourself, Cuba Gooding Jr., Neil Long, Morris Chestnut, and even Ice Cube, this was your first or second film role. How did you guys support each other during filming? Oh, wow. A lot of jokes. A lot of jokes. You know, they're bagging on each other all the time. Yeah, The scene in the car, there was a lot of your mama jokes happening. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. all right. Speaking of uh, riding the car, Poetic Justice, you rode in a mail truck with Janet Jackson, Tupac, and Joe Torrey. Were there any funny moments behind the scenes? Mm. None that I can share. Somebody Keeping it real. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. This this is kind of a, a hard hitting one. <laughs> On higher learning, this was your second collaboration collaboration with Ice Cube, and there's a scene where Frat Member Billy calls you a black bitch over the phone. How did you guys keep the tension down between scenes? Um, I don't know that it was. I think uh, the, I can't remember the actor that played it. I think he was just so nervous about having to do that. But I think you know me and Cube and Busta, just, you know, <laughs> we were so excited. You know, like the, the to do the black girl. You know, <laughs> was like, oh, it's on now. About to call the homies. Like there was a little of that that was real. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd have to say, and and John loved writing that. He lives for that type of stuff. Mm, okay. There you go. She kept it real, Regina King, real. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, don't forget, man. Seven seconds. Make sure you check that out. It's Woo! on Netflix right now. Look for her future work. If you want to reach her uh, directly, you can on social media, right? Yes. And it's. Do you know it? I am Regina King. There it is. Yes. <laughs> All right, Regina King. Thank you for stopping by, Queen. Thank you, King. Okay, I appreciate you. Okay.